and the governor of Lagos State, Babaji de Sonwolu, has attributed incidences of building collapse in mega cities like Lagos as sheer lawlessness of developers of these buildings. Represented by his deputy, Oppa Femi Hamzat, at the second annual conference on the impact of building collapses in mega cities put together by the Lagos State Materials Testing Laboratory. He made reference to the Ikoyi building collapse in November 2021 as one historic event that could have been avoided. Victor Mbarike has more. How would you feel as a father if what you budgeted your income or the family income for is to meet your recurrent and your capital projects in the house, i.e. school fees, house rent? How would you feel as a father if you end up spending a significant chunk of that amount paying for the damages that your child causes. That sets the tone on the essence of this stakeholders' conference to look at how building collapses can at least be reduced, especially as the aftermath of such disasters only leaves much pains and regrets that could even last a lifetime. We are aware that we suffer the consequences of loss of lives, breadwinners who die, children that are, that are supposed to have a good future will go. And of course, mothers, some nursing, some pregnant will also probably be caught in the web of building collapse. And when that Six months after, the Ikoyi building collapse continues to be a reference point and a loss in land. The reality for us is that there are various changes and, you know, I believe that we must have a good understanding and appreciation on this conversation that we are having so that building collapse can at least be reduced to BRS minimum, BRS minimum. To my GMs in material testing, I was checking the law that established them and I think it's um, section 12 thereabouts. You know the funny thing about that section? It says no one shall produce block, clay, brick, without being certified by the laboratory. So what do we need to do? Leave the block makers alone. Don't touch them. Go on TV. Go on radio and tell people, don't buy a block that does not have material testing. The convener, general manager of the Lagos State Materials Testing Laboratory, says it will no longer be business as usual for developers or building contractors. We just have to do the right thing. You can't be the owner of a building and you are the architect, you are the quality surveyor, you are the civil engineer, you are the project manager, and you don't have any technical experience. Of course, we've been, no, no, of course we've been collaborating. There are four key agencies, the Safety Commission, LAPCA, LASPA, and Material Testing Laboratory. We've been synergizing. So everybody, if you escape me, LASPA will catch you. If you escape LAPCA, uh, LAPCA will catch you. If you escape LAPCA, Safety Commission will catch you. So there is a lot of aggressive enforcement and monitoring and compliance. So that is the best way we can address this uh, incessant building collapse in the state. Stakeholders here appeal to Nigerians to also be a watchdog to assist government in reducing building collapses in mega cities like Lagos. Victor Mbadeke, Silverbet News 24.